Fresh layer of snow turned the morning commute into a nightmare. Most interstates and other main roads are in pretty good shape by now. Some of the side streets are doing much better than they were about 24 hours ago. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch has been on the roads on the west side. He joins us live from East Price Hill with a look at how things are going there. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. Uh, within the last hour or so here at uh, Price and Purcell, I have seen plows and salt trucks go by. Uh, well, that's, I think that's one right there. About a dozen times. So they're taking this very, very seriously, obviously. Uh, Monday night, I was on Hill Street in Mount Adams. And as we all know, there are plenty of other hills in Cincinnati as well. Here on Mustang Drive, it helps to have a little extra horsepower to make it up the slippery slope. And you had to ease up on the reins just a bit to make it down. If Cincinnati ever applies for the Winter Olympics, Mustang Drive could be home for the downhill ski race. But off in the distance, what's that? It's a snow plow and a snow plow with a salt spreader. It had actually worked its way through the neighborhood, flattening snow in some places and putting down salt in others. The side streets here ranged from adequate to pretty good, leaving the sidewalks for residents like Gary Shea. This is my own. Compared to last year, I'll take this year any, any day. And as for the snow plows, some folks no doubt complain that, hey, it's taking forever to get to my street. But consider this. Would you want to pay higher taxes for extra plows and people who were only needed for snow a couple of weeks a year? We don't have the numbers yet from Cincinnati, but for similar vehicles and staffing, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet tells us a new plow and salt truck cost about $100,000. And a two-person crew, one person for each 12-hour snowy shift, adds nearly another 100000 annually. So five new trucks, plus the people to run them, are a million dollars just the first year. Of course, plows can just kind of speed things up by showing up. Imagine you were this guy with a plow right behind you. Fear alone would probably propel you to the top of the hill. And remember what Mustang Drive looked like at the beginning of our story? Well, half an hour later after the magic plow put down its magic salt. Check this out. Oh well, so much for the Winter Olympics. You know, one thing I've noticed here in the streets, as you just saw, are in you know, relatively decent shape or really, really good shape. But because the streets are in good shape and the sidewalks, except for that gentleman who is plowing his own sidewalk, the sidewalks are not shoveled, not cleared unless a homeowner wants to do it. We have seen a lot of people walking down the streets because the streets are okay and the sidewalks are not which may be logical, but it's also rather dangerous, particularly at night. So, you know, if you're a motorist, one other thing to watch out for is that somebody walking down the middle of the road. And if you're a driver, you know, watch out for them. And if you're a walker, watch out for the cars. Live in Price Hill, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Jeff, thanks very much. The city of right. Cincinnati has more than 80 plow and salt trucks on the road with drivers working 12-hour shifts. ODOT says it has about 140 trucks working in southwestern Ohio.